Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, February the 23rd. It's the seventh week after the Epiphany, and week seven in the Psalm Cycle. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, blessed are you that fear God most high, that walk in God's ways. For you shall eat the labor of your hands, and you shall be happy, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the side of your house, your children like olive plants round about your table. Behold, that thus shall they be blessed who fear God most high. God shall bless you out of Zion, and you shall see the goodness of Jerusalem all the days of your life. You shall see your children's children, and peace upon Israel. Alleluia. Many times have they afflicted me from my youth. Let Israel say, Many times have they afflicted me from my youth, and yet they have not prevailed against me. The plowers plowed my back, they made long their furrows. The Most High is righteous, God has cut the cords of the wicked. Let them all be confounded and turned back that hate Zion. Let them be as the grass on the housetops, which withers before it grows up, which does not fill the hand of the reaper, nor the bosom of them that bind sheaves so that they which go by do not say the blessing of the Most High be on you. We bless you in the name of God. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are you that fear God Most High, that walk in God's ways. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of John, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ, not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. There are three that testify, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood. And these three agree. If we receive human testimony, the testimony of God is greater, for this is the testimony of God that he has testified to his Son. Those who believe in the Son of God have the testimony in their hearts. Those who do not believe in God have made him a liar by not believing in the testimony that God has given concerning his Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son of God does not have life. Here ends the lesson. Alleluia, out of the depths I cry to you, O God Most High, hear my voice. Alleluia. Psalm 130, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, out of the depths I cry to you, O God Most High. Hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you should mark our sins, who can stand? But there is forgiveness with you that you may be feared. I wait for you, my soul waits, and in your word I hope. My soul waits for you more than they that watch for the morning. Let Israel hope in God, for with you there is mercy and fullness of redemption. You shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Alleluia. 
Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Out of the depths I cry to you, O God most high. Hear my voice. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 11, beginning at verse 45. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what Jesus did, believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what he had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the council and said, What are we to do? This man is performing many signs. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and the Romans will come and destroy both our holy place and our nation. But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing at all. You do not understand that it is better for you to have one man die for the people than to have the whole nation destroyed. He did not say this on his own, but being high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus was about to die for the nation, and not for the nation only, but to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to put him to death. Jesus, therefore, no longer walked about openly among the Jews, but went from there to a town called Ephraim in the region near the wilderness, and there he remained with the disciples. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are low. For all who suffer from the COVID-19 pandemic, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For all who've died, especially Martin, Sarah, Brother Stephen Edward, William, Brother Walter Arthur, Stephen, and Tom. For all who serve in harm's way, and for the victims of terrorism and violence. For the resolve of the nations to address the climate change crises. For those struggling with addiction, especially Bill. For the mercy of God community, for Brother Joe, Brother Tom, Brother Todd, Brother Richard, Brother Bill, Brother Max, Brother Bill, and all the Mercy of God associates. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Release us from the power of sin and death and heal us of our afflictions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.